Many people forget about negative keywords and as a result of that they are paying for irrelevant clicks. That's why in this video I'm going to share with you the negative keywords best practices so that you can avoid that problem. My name is Agnieszka and this channel is all about digital marketing and creating your profitable online business. So if you're interested in those subjects, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications. The video is coming right up. So Google uh, algorithms are trying to make their best to show um, your ads to the biggest amount of people possible. That's why your ads are not only showing uh, for the exact keywords, apart from the situation when you choose an exact match type, but they are showing uh, your ad also for things that are similar, that are synonyms, but a result of that can be that you are paying for clicks that are really uh, related with similar keyword search, but the intention uh, of, the, of the person that was typing this keyword in the Google search engine was totally different and doesn't really correspond to your offer. So as a result of that, you are paying for clicks that are irrelevant. So negative keywords help you to avoid this situation because negative keywords are the keywords that will be excluded uh, from your campaign. And there are three different negative keywords uh, match type. Uh, so as you remember, for the general keywords, you have four different match types. It is broad match, it is broad match modifier, it is phrase match, and it is exact match. And if you want to know more about that, I've already recorded the video about it. You can find it up there. And I also discussed the match type strategy in a separate video that is up right now. So this is about the general keywords, but let's move to the negative keywords. So there are three different uh, negative uh, match types. We have negative broad match, we have negative phrase match and negative exact match. And because it is a little bit confusing and a little bit complicated, I will go to my computer now to show you this on examples so you can see exactly what type of uh, keywords I'm discussing so you can better understand. And after that, I will also show you a tool uh, that helps you to find out negative keywords that is called Ubersuggest. We will start with the negative broad match because it's the um, match type that is set as default. So it's the same case as in terms of uh, general keywords. The broad match uh, and the negative broad match are the default setting. So let's start from the easy example. If we have only one word that uh, is uh, set as a negative keyword, all searches that will include this particular word will not result in your ad showing. So if you want to exclude, for example, free in a click funnels free trial, we have a word free, so it will not appear. Your ad will not appear for this search. But if somebody types click funnels trial, your ad will appear. But what about the situation where we have more than one word? For example, we have two words like running shoes. In this case, all of these words must be included in the search in order for your ad not to appear. So as in this example, blue tennis shoes, it's okay, the ad is showing because you only have shoes in the search. Running shoe is okay also because you have running shoe, not shoes. But blue running shoes, is not okay because we have running shoes as well as shoes running is not okay because the order of the words doesn't matter it only matters whether all of these words are included running shoes of course also is excluded okay so we move to negative phrase match and you put the negative phrase match in quotations we have running shoes as an example so blue tennis shoes is okay because we don't have the phrase running shoes. And for your ad not to appear, you have to have exactly this phrase. You can have the words before and after, but not, um, not a different variation of this phrase or with something in between. So running shoe is also okay. Blue running shoes is not okay because we have blue in the beginning, but then we have our phrase running shoes. Shoes running, 
is also okay because the order in the negative phrase match does matter. You have to have phrase match. And then we have running shoes. The ad is not showing because it's exactly this selected phrase. And then we have blue running shoes where there is no space between blue and running. And because of that, in this situation, your ad will show because for the algorithm, it is blue running together. It's not a separate word, the running shoes. Okay, so we move to the negative exact match. And the exact match is exactly this selected um, keyword phrase. So we put it in the square brackets. And if we have running shoes, your ad will show for everything except exactly running shoes. So blue tennis shoes is okay, running shoes okay, blue running shoes is okay because it has the blue in the beginning and shoes running is okay because for your ad to show because it's the different, um, different order but running shoes exactly as your chosen phrase is not okay and your ad will not show. Okay, I hope it is clear for you now. I will show you now a tool to find the negative keywords. It is a tool that is a kind of keyword planner. So I've shown you um, the keyword planner that I use uh, for uh, looking for keywords. That's the Google keyword planner. But I also do use another tool. And in this video, I'm going to show you this other tool. And it is called Ubersuggest. Okay, so it is in principle the keyword planner. So you would use the same tool to plan your keywords as well as negative keywords because we will look at the list of keywords and find the keywords that are not relevant for uh, what we are doing as an advertiser. So I will show you this on example of click funnels, assuming that you are promoting click funnels. I am going to tell you also that if you want to promote ClickFunnels as an affiliate, it is not uh, it is not possible to do via Google Ads because that's their um, affiliate agreement uh, rule that you cannot uh, compete with them in Google Ads. So this is just for the purpose of this video, but you cannot use Google Ads to promote ClickFunnels. Okay, so we are going to go and click on see all keyword ideas and we go for this idea so we want to promote click funnels so i would exclude click funnels what it is because what is because the person who's typing this probably is not ready to buy click funnels so i would not want to pay for this click because um yeah they are far from uh, buying at the moment also click funnels review i would not go for or click funnels affiliate login because it's just for the people who are already affiliates and want to log to their dashboard. So this is not appropriate for you as a click funnels promoter. Click funnels alternative, of course, because somebody is looking for a different kind of software. Click funnels versus lead pages. Also, again here with a different spelling of versus and you go for this list in this uh, way and then you just export it to uh, to an excel file and you can upload this um, this data you can just copy the keywords and uh, input them uh, into your negative keywords section in google ads so what I want to suggest to you is to log into your Google Ads account on regular basis because it's not enough to just set up your campaign because you have to watch what people are actually typing and you can see this for which type of searches your uh, ad is appearing and you can see because maybe you did not think about a certain um, phrase to exclude so to put as a negative keyword because it just didn't come up to your mind but then your ad is appearing for the searches so you should be analyzing what people are searching for and regularly excluding some of the keywords so 
for big campaigns, the list of negative keywords are really, really long. And this is really a living organism on which you have to work every day. Okay, guys, so I hope uh, it is more clear to you now how the negative keywords work. Uh, but if you have any questions about that, please leave them below. I am always trying to answer and see you in the next video.